Kia ora whanau, he tēnei rā, I'll be giving you ideas to help find your filmmaking style. First off, choose your genre. It could be like your typical romance films, Scott says action films, horror, drama or comedy. Next, I'm going to get you to think about something that feels strong or surreal to you, as that will become the foundation of your style to create your film. Me tirohia tato ki te koti, aka Taika Waititi. His film Boy was set in his hometown, and the characters in Boy were based off people he knew growing up, making it personal to him. Wanna see some Michael Jackson dance moves? Another example of a distinct style is Studio Ghibli films. Studio Ghibli rides the magic to draw you into their handcrafted worlds, and despite knowing these worlds are fictional, they create a sense of realism, influencing people to believe that those worlds and characters are real. Quentin Tarantino is a well-recognised director. Being a master of non-linear plots, Tarantino's style is very quirky. He uses bright colours within his films, lots of violence and comedy. Kind of like a lolly scramble, you can mix and match different elements of the film to showcase your story. With Buddy, it takes on Portmanteau, which is a style showing multiple stories occurring within one big story. The visual storytelling in combination of both 3D and 2D animations forms the Narco in this Spideyverse. And back to Tarantino again, in Kill Bill Volume 1, Tarantino added a little sauce by incorporating an anime scene in the middle of his film. I asked that it can be the most powerful tool a director can have. By having one, it sets the tone of the film and connects to the hearts of the audience. The film mid-90s has been commended among youngers for its generous vibes and makes one feel nostalgic. With digital, it makes your footage crisp and is easily accessible. Dark monotone colours create a scary environment. Whereas in Wes Anderson's film Moonrise Kingdom, the colours give off a kind of artsy look which sets the tone of the story. Speaking of Wes Anderson, his creative direction lies deeply within the use of colour through film. Something buzzy about this is that colour in images influences your brain to have a psychological response which causes viewers to relate the colours of an image to specific objects and emotions. Something to help you arrange your style could be creating a mood board on Pinterest. Doing this will help you visualise what you want your film to look like. And to finish, let's hear some wise words from Oscar winner Bon Joon Ho that inspires him when creating his films. Thank you so much. When I was young and studying cinema, there was a saying that I carved deep into my heart, which is the most personal is the most creative. No reira, get toji, get those creative juices flowing, draw those memories and feelings out of you, and show us your authentic and important stories through film.